82. This is Farmall 51 here again. Uh, this is the update on the 140. <clears throat> I don't know if I ever did a video on this one when I was working on it. So, um, but what I did was I had. I'll just uh, go back over everything for you. Um, right along here on the column, sometime or another, I don't know if it was broke uh, or what, but it was cracked here. So what I did was I re-welded it, ground it back down, and my touch control here, right where you see my middle finger is, it was cracked right along here. It was it was broke or something. I, I don't know, just by pulling on it, I guess, or, or what. But. So I had another one of those, and I cleaned it up, and I put those on, and um, fixed that, and I had some wiring issues. I cleaned that up, um, and I just went ahead and, just for the heck of it, went ahead and painted everything. But the reason I did all that was um, I installed a new foot pedal, or a foot throttle. And... Um, I got a new uh, brake cover, I guess sh sh shield cover here. And the one I got, I, I ended up it didn't it did not have the the hole cut out for it. So what I did was I I cut my own hole out, and it's close on one side, but it doesn't touch. But uh, it works. Uh, and this here is off of an industrial Super A. And how it works is it's got a little rod that runs across the bottom here, uh, a little pin, and that's the spring that keeps tension on it. Runs up here to this little mechanism right there. And then that runs all the way back to the throttle there, where it goes into the governor. But, uh, and if you've never tried one of these, you're, you're missing out because this here is a, this here is a real treat. It's almost like having a, to me, it's almost like having an automatic or something. I mean, you can get to the end of the field, back out of the gas, and not have to fiddle with the throttle and the picking up the, the plow at the same time. Um, and you can sort of fan the gas, or slowly, when you're getting ready to take off with the clutch, you can just kind of, you know, ease into the gas and, and not have to have it, you know, the tractor running full bore all the time. Now, the one thing that I do not have yet is if you can see here the hole on the bottom here of the the regular throttle also hooks to this side here there's a short little four inch piece see right now it should be down at full idle so there's not but um four or five inches or so right there so and i've got to make that piece i've just got to get um some rod, which I've, I've got some rod about about like this here. Um, I've got a little bit thicker rod, more like what you would see over here for the, the throttle throttle rod there, but um, I haven't hooked that up. But that's made to where you can, uh, like if you're running the tractor, you want to actually leave the tractor running like a high idle or, or a certain speed and not have to worry about, you know, keeping your foot on the gas. So, um, And I think you can take this pin out here and that'll disengage the foot throttle until where you can use the hand throttle. But um, I've, I've fairly enjoyed that, and I'm I'm, I'm glad I put it on there because it has been nice. Um, if you, if you ever can get you one um, on your 140, um, I think they've got them on the Cub too. Um, I've never seen one on a C or a Super C. I'm not saying they didn't make one, but I'm sure they've they've got one. For them, um, have never seen one, but um, yeah, this is, a, this is a real treat. And um, I, I think I have to go back and find the video, and I'll put a link to the other video of, of when I did that. Um, this is back in, oh, this is back in December when I did this, so it's uh, July now. So, but all right, thanks for watching.